in the previous episode i have shown you how to create ikfk switch select the ikfk switch of the left side try to make the value 0 to 1 and see the effect see select this one try to change the value and see the effect but in this episode i will show you how to create controller for the head neck a sternum a spine and pelvis controller and also make constraint for the hand joint select the hand controller copy the name press ctrl plus z to create a group and rename the group as left hand con left hand controller group and center the pivot first select the left hand joint shift select the left hand controller group constraint open parent constraint option maintain offset off click apply now go to vertex selection mode select the vertices and rotate it as shown rotate 90 degree now go to object mode Now delete the left hand constraint controller group. Left hand controller group constraint. Channel box. Freeze the transformation. Check the center pivot. Now this time select the left hand controller. Shift select the left hand join, constraint open parent constraint option, click maintain offset on, click apply. Do the same thing for the right side. So I skip the video. Now select this one, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate and move this one here. Vertex selection mode, select the vertices as shown. A scale, select all the vertices and a scale. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate and press V to snap one at the pelvic joint or pelvis joint. Center the pivot. Unhide your character to adjust it. Again hide. Now rename this one as pelvis controller. Select this one. A scale. Press V to snap it here at the spine. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate and press V snap it to the sternum. Ctrl D duplicate snap it to the neck joint and Ctrl D to duplicate and snap it to the head joint. Now rename them. This one as a spine controller. This one as a sternum controller. This one as neck controller and this one as head controller. Now select all of them, freeze the transformation and center their pivot. Check the center pivot point. This is important.
now select the head controller shift select the head join constraint open parent constraint option maintain offset on click apply do the same for the other join control g to undo select this one shift select the pelvic join constraint maintain offset on now unhide your character and see again hide the character select the controller try to move and see see 